December the 10th has been quite a day in the sumo world. Here's the latest news. Of concern is that three more wrestlers have come down with the virus. As all three are in the lower divisions, their names have been withheld, but they are assumed to be from the same stable. Their symptoms appear to be moderate for now. We wish them all a speedy recovery. In the ring, Ozeki Asanoyama fought his first practice bout since his November pullout a month ago. Challenging four third division stablemates, all fellow uni graduates, to a total of 10 bouts, he surprisingly slipped and lost the first one to 26-year-old Murata. I was rushing things and my feet just gave way, was his excuse to cover for ring rustiness. But after that, he won all nine remaining matches against Murata, Fukai, Asagyokse, and Terasawa, even showing the confidence to charge into them with his injured side. True, when I went for the inside right, I felt a little tingling in the right shoulder, he confessed, but I've just got to get used to it. To be honest, before fighting today, my mind was full of thoughts about the moment of injury, the pain, the fear that came with it. But once out there, I took things patiently, went forward when I could, resisted when I had to, and reeled my opponents in when required. I'll continue building up my body for the Kokugikan practice next week. Asanayama claimed to be working on technique as well as conditioning, making sure to go for a more frontal inside grip rather than venturing too deep. And asked if he still believes he can rise higher up the chart, he said, Well, to do that, I can't afford to lose to those beneath me most likely with Teruno Fuji in mind. And he's equally conscious of his poor record against Hakuho and Kakuryu, saying, If I come to beat the Yokozuna, that's when the Yokozuna rank comes into view. But if I can't get past them, I can't aim for it. Now, as you know from my other post today, Kakuryu has now joined Hakuho in acquiring Japanese citizenship, and may now actually retire before his next meeting with Asanoyama can take place. Commenting outside Michinoku stable today, the 35-year-old said, It took a really long time to come through, so obviously I'm happy. Clarifying that he'd waited two and a half years. It's a weight off my mind, he continued, so now I can refocus on my sumo. Asked to elaborate on why he'd naturalized, he said, since coming to Japan at 16, sumo is all I've known, and without it, I wouldn't be where I am. I have to repay sumo for the life it's given me, and would like to train up the next great fighters. He met Chairman Hakaku today to convey the news, and received a very Japanese response, teeming with nudges and winks. Make sure you do your best next time. Elsewhere, Takakesho has made light of Hakuho's vow to block his Yokozuna promotion charge in January. Our match will mean nothing if I lose some of the earlier ones, the Ozeki said. All I can do is output all my power and see where I get. The rivals are both expected to attend next week's Kokugikan practice, but the rotund Ozeki is refusing to hype things up, saying, It doesn't matter who else is there. It's all about what I'm going to do. He believes the spiritual side of his game has improved, saying he no longer values his sumo in terms of wins and losses. Before, I always used to think that my sumo must have been correct if I'd won, he explained, but that was totally wrong. All I was telling myself was, if I fought well and lost, oh, my mind must have just gone blank. And if I won, it was like, ah... It's because I'm completely in the zone. But I no longer seek out complex reasons for each defeat. If I lose having given my all, it's because I'm weak, simple as that. And so long as I give everything in each moment, I can be happy with that. Inside, he must at least be preparing for the prospect of facing Hakuho next week. For if he's called out, he will have to fight. And finally, Takakesho's stablemate, Takano Sho, has again admitted that part of him can't believe the huge strides he's taken of late 
after having toiled in lower divisions for seven and a half years. Now aiming for Ozeki, he believes that good performances against Takakesho in training can help him rediscover the form of March 2020, when he finished joint second with 12 wins. My sumo repertoire has improved, I've been mastering right-hand techniques, and my raw power has also been boosted," Takanosho beamed. He's another man who feels emboldened by Kakuryu's impending retirement.